in this video today I'm going to show you how to edit this particular template. It has a three photo option, which I'll also show you how to switch it out for a one photo option. Though I do think that this one looks the best with how it is laid out. You can always edit any of these templates and I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So let's get started. Hello there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start editing our greeting card template. You'll go ahead and click this link after you've downloaded the PDF file. And from here, you'll click use template. When you click this link for me, I'm already logged into my Canva account, but you will be greeted with a screen to either log in and or make a new Canva account if you're not currently logged in. I'm going to go ahead and click use template. And from here, I'm met with this screen. This is the placeholder for the three images you can use on this one. Um, if you wanted to put one larger image, you can actually remove this and I will show you how at the end, but first I want to show you how to add your images. So from here, you'll see this internal screen. I personally, I do have a pro account, but you don't need one. So you might not see everything or you might just see it as you can't use it because it's pro or something. I'm not sure how it works um, when you don't have one. But you're going to want to go ahead and upload your photos. So you're going to click upload right here. And then you're going to click this. And from here, you'll navigate to where your photos are. I downloaded some from Deposit Photos, which is a great resource if you ever need a resource for, this, for photos. Lots of photos. Just make sure you read the license usage and follow their restrictions. Um, I also downloaded a few photos off my own uh, Facebook page. I don't have a lot of photos, so um, I probably won't use any of mine. I think I'll just use the bunnies. So I'm going to upload these three photos since I have three placeholders. And we'll just pretend these are Christmassy photos. These are not my personal rabbits, though. This little gray one looks just like my Ash. He is a gray chinchilla rabbit. I also have a lion lop-eared rabbit, which is looks a bit like this one here, but has lop ears instead of the pointy ears. I'm not sure what kind of rabbits these are. Somebody else in the group right now. All right, so we'll go ahead and you just plop it right over like that. Now, if you wanted to get a little closer, I think you can click on this and you can hit crop. And I think, it, yeah, okay. It does work the same with this one. I wasn't entirely sure if it would. So like, if you want to get a little closer and you want to get more of his face, remember you can adjust it just like that. And you just kind of move it around till you have what you want. I'm not real happy with that. Not the best photo, but it is a cute bunny. Okay, so we'll click done and we'll just say it looks perfect. Then we're going to grab this cute little lion head. We're going to plop her right in. You can just pull it in. Now, if you do start moving this around, it can replace the background. So do be careful for that. So just before you let go, make sure you're centered where you want to be. All right. So like this one, again, you can hit this button right here. It's crop. And that allows you to edit it any way you want. So you can get a little more of the bunny's face. And then we'll hit done. And so now we have a little more. And we'll grab this little bunny, and we'll throw, or these two bunnies. We'll throw them over here. I kind of actually like how that just came out, so I'm not going to mess with that one. So now you have all of your photos in there. And then you, if you wanted to edit this, you could say Merry Christmas and leave it as it is. Or if you don't like the friend part, you can just take it off, just like that. You can also make other edits if you wanted to make it smaller or bigger. It's right here. This will make it bigger, plus, obviously, minus smaller. Don't be afraid to play around with it. You can always go and re-click on the template again and it'll start over. Um, you know, or you can just make copies too as you're making edits. If you get someplace and you're like, how oh, it looks, make a copy of it. You can always remove them later if you have too many, but it's not your server, it's their server. So, you know, they have pretty big space for you. Um, all right, so you can see all of this. You can also change the message here. If you wanted to, you can also add more text, believe it or not. So what you would do is you can go ahead and click this and you can move it where you want. In this case, let's say we want to put a little text down here. And I like, if you want to know what the font is that I use here, you can see right there by clicking on it, it's Josephine Sands. So I'm going to click this again and I want my fonts to be in the same family, Josephine. We'll do regular, it'll show up better. Okay, 
And from here, you can, you'll click inside, and now you can go ahead and say, um, from the Lalos. I think it's no apostrophe. So just from the Lalos, and you can leave it like that. If it was me, I would probably tweak that up a little bit, a little more space, and just play around with it a little bit. And from there, you have the option. You can have Canva print them for you, and they'll mail them to you. Um, I've had I've ordered many business cards and different things from them before, and I've been pretty impressed with their service. You can also um, just print it at home if you have really good quality paper. And today, with today's printers and such good quality pa paper, you really you could really get a nice print from home too as well. I feel like I do. And you can either download the PDF, you can download the ping file, or um, the, I wouldn't do the JPEG. I think that is only 72 DPI. I'm not 100% sure, but I would use either this. This one too is fine. So it's going to be ping, PDF. PDF is probably the easiest. I like to work with pings because I like to work in Photoshop to do a lot of my stuff. Um, but yeah, so you're looking at this or this. These are your two best options here if you're going to download and print. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what the PDF version looks like. So we'll go ahead and download that. Let it download and then once it's done, it takes a few minutes. So see here, it even gives you the option. Free shipping. I mean, it's actually a pretty good deal. So now I can go ahead and click that and I have my PDF file. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how to replace these three placeholders and photos with a single photo. So we're gonna have to click this first photo, hit delete, click it again, hit delete. It takes the whole thing out. Now we'll go ahead and we'll plop in a new photo. So as you can see, the layout here, you're probably going to want something fairly long to fill this space without leaving too much open. Although, you know, you probably could still do that as well. So we're going to grab these two cute little bunnies right here and we are going to kind of put them a little bit over and then I'm going to start kind of fixing this up a little bit. Because this photo is mostly what would be considered a landscape option. It's not the best fit for this, but we'll see how we can make it work and might give you guys some ideas. It also shows you a little bit of the limitations as far as, you know, think about your photo and how it's gonna lay out in the, you know, the, the template you choose. So this template is, that's why, you know, I had set it up so that it would have three smaller landscape photos which is how most people do take them but if you have portraits this would be really great it's just the photos I chose aren't the ideal ones for what I'm trying to do here but we're gonna make it work because that's what we do so now I have this little photo here I could um, just do this and expand it down and I do lose some of the bunnies the, you know so what I might in this case like I said I would definitely choose a different photo if I was only gonna put one in here but I'm gonna make this work, because that's, like I said, it's what I do. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll click it. And so it'll feature one bunny, that's fine, you know, this, for what the example I'm trying to show you. So you can see now how you can do that. And if you decide in the end, you're like, yeah, I'm not happy with that, I wanna try this one, or I wanna try this one, just keep plopping them over, and then remember, click crop, move things around, adjust. And then that way you get everything in the frame that you want. So that's how you go ahead and edit your greeting card template. Um, you can see here I added some other photos. I went in and picked out some Chris more Christmassy ones so you could see how it looked with a little bit more Christmas themed photos. Um, these are ones that you can actually get through Canva. You just click on photos and you can type in Christmas and it'll bring you up quite a bit of stuff. Um, I want to say most of these photos that I have in here are from the pro account, which is why I don't include them with the, um, the template. That's why you see a placeholder, an empty one. But if you have any other questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you guys next time. You guys have a great day.